at every stage in in the series you you look at the positive of what to come so after losing the first game you kind of feeling okay we can uh, you might have lost the first game but still a few to go um, now that we we fall one down the positive is you want to end the series on a good note um, you know the coach has a has a long term vision and uh, has a few ideas up his sleeve so that affords him an opportunity to play that um, so those are the motivations back then. Certainly, you want to end the series on a good note. You want to still have a lot of pride in your in your own performance for the country. So yeah, there's lots to do. There's always positive and learning to take from it. Um, you know, we we've got a few younger guys in the team who will think, sure, one day cricket's really tough. Uh, but thankfully, I think it'll only get easier for for them uh, because we haven't played our best cricket. I think we've we've played decent cricket in patches, but by and large, we've played. Uh, uh, subpar cricket from what we used to and what we we are accustomed to to performing. So, those are the type of experiences we'll take. The World Cup's not far away. India are probably playing the best team, and whatever experience we get over the five games or six games that we've played against them, we'll take it to the next time we do play them. Well, I think KG's bowled very well. To be very honest with you, um, every game he's looked like he's going to pick up some wickets up front. Um, things haven't gone that way, but uh, he's looked very threatening. In the same token, we've had uh, you know Lungi come in and he's playing. He made his debut in the series, so it's something that he's going to take a lot of experience and learning from the series. Uh, and he's a quality bowler, and we know over time he's going to only get better and better. Although the, we haven't made inroads up front, I would like to think that we've still managed to restrict India to a decent totals, um, 270 to 80. is not an overwhelming total, um, but it's been the batting that unfortunately we haven't been able to string enough big scores together to, to get us to those totals whenever we needed to chase. So I think the bowling, yeah, we haven't made inroads up front, but we still managed to, to control the back end of the game. I think in every game, the last 20 overs or 15 overs of the innings it hasn't run away from us. And as I said, 280, 270, 280, it's not a massive total. So the guys have done decently well. I've been very impressed with Aiden on the field. I mean, he's very composed. He has a good idea of what he would like. Um, obviously, when you, as a captain, if you don't score runs, the first thing that gets attributed to you is, oh, is the captaincy affecting your batting? Uh, certainly happened to me when I was playing, and I can see every captain I've played under the same, the same cliche uh, question gets put on the guys. Um, Aiden is he's still young in international cricket. Um, Obviously, it was a, uh, a great opportunity for him to captain. I think he's learned so much from his ca- captaincy as well as batting and uh, uh, being captain in international cricket. Uh, he's only going to get better. He's a world-class player. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's got starts. Uh, and I have no, no doubt and full confidence that over time, he'll, if he is captaining, the more he captains, the easier it'll get for him. Um, but he's a quality player, and I think over time he'll, he'll come with